Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Daily Race. So glad to have you here on this beautiful Monday morning. We're kicking off the week, and I'm back home. Man, I had a great time uh, in far southern Arizona. Got to spend the day yesterday with uh, First Baptist Bisbee, a uh, partner church of ours, Pastor Alberto and his wife Olivia. Uh, we're just incredible hosts. Had a great time spending the morning with their church and teaching week two of Serve Our City as they're doing it alongside with us. And uh, they are reaching out into their community and making an impact there in Bisbee, Arizona. So if you think about, uh, if you ever go to Bisbee or if you ever think about Bisbee, pray for First Baptist Bisbee. God's doing some great things there. All right, well, we're continuing our uh, wrapping up this week, our study on Isaiah. We're in Isaiah chapter 59 today, Isaiah 59, um, and uh, we're going to kind of kick it off here with verse 1. It says this, listen, the Lord's arm is not too weak to save you, nor is his ear too deaf to hear your call. It's your sins that have cut you off from God. Because of your sins, he has turned away and will not listen anymore. Your hands are the hands of murderers. Your fingers are filthy with sin. Your lips are full of lies and your mouths spew corruption. You know, in our life, we go through seasons of spiritual growth and spiritual stagnation and, and sometimes spiritual backsliding. Uh, that our life is not one, you know, uh, straight line from the moment that we start a relationship with God all the way to when we go to see uh, we breathe our last breath. It's not always up and to the right on the chart. There's ups, there's downs, uh, there's flat lines, all different types of seasons because, well, we're human beings. <laughs> we, we struggle. And, and I think a, a lot of times when we go through those difficult times, uh, when we go through crisis, uh, when we feel spiritually stagnant, one of the things that we cry out is, God, are, are you listening? Are, are you still there? Why don't you, why don't you speak to me like you did before? Why don't I feel close to you like I did before? And there are different reasons for that. Sometimes it's because it's, it's a test that God is putting you through. He, he wants you to depend on him even when you don't feel like it. But honestly, sometimes it's because of sin, because of rebellion in our lives. And there's an area of our lives that we are, are living outside of God's bounds. And we, we minimize it. We don't think it's a big deal. Or we you know just kind of put it aside. But it's causing a divide between us and God. It doesn't mean that he is not forgiven us. It doesn't mean that we're, we're not in a relationship with anymore, that he's casting us out, but it causes a strain in the relationship, just like it does any relationship, right? If you've done something to offend your friend or, or your spouse or your child, there's a strain in the relationship. You're not as close as you were before. They, they might not be you know, willing to, to jump out and, and help you in that moment until that, that issue is resolved. Now, now, God isn't being petty here. God isn't being, you know, vindictive in this situation, but God is perfect and holy, and he wants us to, to follow him. Now, if you're concerned here, you're like, oh, well, maybe that's, that's why I haven't, you know, felt close to God. I, I would encourage you just to spend a few moments just reflecting. Hey, is there any unrepentant sin in my life? Are there things that I'm doing that are just blatantly outside of God's bounds and I need to fix, I need to repair? Um, I would encourage you, though, not to spend a ton of time doing it. And not to fret. It's, if you can't think of it, if it doesn't come to your mind in a short period of time after prayer and asking God to reveal it to you, then maybe it is just a season of, of God testing, a season just of, of spiritual dryness that, that we all go through, kind of those, those slower times of growth. But if there is sin, if there is sin, it'll come right to the surface. You'll be made aware of it. You'll remember it. Uh, you will, uh, uh, God will, will make it known to you. And the answer is simple to that. You repent it, which means you turn from it, you decide not to do it, you, you ask God for forgiveness, and you ask God to help you not fall into that trap again. That's this warning here that we find today in Isaiah 59. It obviously goes into much more detail um, than just that, but uh, the, the first part of here, just kind of remind me of one of those symptoms. One of those symptoms of, of sin in our life is spiritual stagnation, that it slows down or stops the spiritual growth and closeness of, of God in our lives. And when that happens, that's an indicator. An indicator to, to look up, an indicator to, to look in, uh, an indicator to turn from, and an indicator to ask for forgiveness. All right, great reminder there here today as we're looking through Isaiah. Once again, I, I said we're gonna be wrapping this up this week and then we're gonna be spending some time in some Psalms and then leading up to Easter. Easter is only a couple weeks away. Oh, how exciting is that? All right, well, let's go ahead and, and open up today with a word of prayer as we start this brand new week. 
Lord, we love you, and we thank you so much just for your love for us. And God, we, we thank you that you love us so much that you don't just leave us steeped in our sin. <laughs> you don't just let us be comfortable uh, rebelling from you, um, doing things that, that harm ourselves and others, God, because your desire for us uh, is to live a life that is, that is full of purpose, that is full of hope, that is full of joy, that is full of peace. God, that's how much you love us. So thank you for, for guiding us in right ways. And God, for those moments that we, we step out of bounds, those moments that we veer to the right or the left, God, may it never go too long before you, we, we come back. May it never uh, be something that extends into, into long seasons of life, God. We, we want to follow close behind you. We thank you for your forgiveness. And we thank you for your love for us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. All right. Well, hey, I hope you have a great, great rest of the day. I look forward to seeing you 24 hours from now right back here on The Daily Race. Love you guys.